Now I would request our special guest who is a tremendous speaker. When he speaks, everybody has to listen. Koshal Mehra, I think everybody wants to hear from you so much that when you are there, it is impossible that you don't speak. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the recipients of the awards. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. First of all, uh, thank you very much to the organizers and I asked him, Tahir Bhai, what do you want me to talk about? So Tahir Bhai, I'm reading what you told me. <laughs> you told me, talk about the importance of projecting Bharatiya art and literature in our very politicized world today. So I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I'm going to keep it very short and sweet. Uh, usually, um, See, I'm a podcaster, so I'm used to, my, my average time starts at one hour and ends at five hours. So I, I know you guys are not uh, that kind of an audience, so I'll keep it very short and sweet. But uh, this is something I, I feel very strongly about because uh, um, it's about South Asian culture and everyone has said something good, I'm going to talk a little bit critical. Uh, so let me be a slightly critical about something and I'll connect it to our culture. I, uh, I'm, I'm known, for people who know me, I'm known as an absolutist when it comes to free speech. I am a free speech absolutist. I believe people should have the right to say literally what they want to say outside of a call to violence with clear and imminent danger. The standard being Brandenburg versus Ohio from the US Supreme Court. I know my own country doesn't follow that standard for the record, nor does uh, Pakistan or any South Asian country, but I'm not talking about that. So why I want to talk about that is I'm going to use literary examples from our very culture. Uh, that culture could be Pakistani culture, it could be Indian culture, it could be Bangladeshi culture, it could be from anywhere from the South Asian region. Now. We all grew up with Hindi cinema. There is a famous, Savna uh, Shole uh, to dekhi hogi. Most of you must have seen the movie Shole. So there's a very famous scene in Shole where uh, Hema Malini is at a Shivji ka temple and Dharminder, he has that uh, thing in the back and he hides behind uh, a murti of Shivji and he's like this. And he's speaking behind from Shivji ki murti and he's talking to Hema Malini and he's giving her instructions as if Bhagwan Shiv is talking to him, Amalini. You know, one day I thought to myself, we live in the age, you see, I'm a digital product. I'm a product, my, my so-called quote-unquote fame stems from because I did something on the internet. I, I, I myself, I'm very aware of my quote-unquote fame. Now, we live in the era of recreational outrage, not outrage, recreational outrage. Uh, everybody gets up in the morning, they lift this thing, and they look for reasons to get angry. I don't know why, but they do. We're always angry. I ask my friends, Matlab, cheeze kharab ho rahi hai? Nahi, meri life to theek hai. Mano, tu social media pe itna bhadka kyo rata hai? But we are all angry on social media. Now think about this. If Shole was released in the year 2023, would they get away with it? I don't know. Or maybe let's take a beautiful Kawali. I mean, I'm a Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan fan. I, I, I enjoy Nusrat. And um, you know, the other day, I was at my friend's house and I was telling them uh, that there was a famous Kawali of Nusrat where Nusrat had written, Tum ek gorakh dhanda ho. And basically the entire Kawali for 30 minutes goes about questioning everything about the existence of a deity in different ways, in beautiful prose, in beautiful poetry, and then says, to make Gorak Dhanda Ho. It's doubt, it's questioning. And I was wondering, if this song was written today and presented today, now it's an ancient thing, right? Even if it is like 10 years old in today's era, it becomes ancient. Would we be fine with it in the age of recreational outrage? Because somebody in this remote corner of some country or some area would say, I am offended. And maybe we would not have to make Gorakh Danda Ho. And then on the other hand, we have our past. So I don't know how many of you know about this. So 
there is a kodun gallur bhagwati temple in kerala i want to tell you a story of this temple from southern india you know we have a northern indian bias so i'm going to share a southern indian story because that's an equal and relevant part of india which a lot of times people forget and one of the most beautiful stories and history of india also stems from southern india so in this temple you know you have a 6 foot here you know high uh, image of a goddess now there's a very interesting thing that happens every year in the month of april and may only in the month of april and may baki samay ye allowed nahi hota hai for the record but it's allowed in april and may where you see a unique spectacle the devotees themselves attend the temple and guess what do they do can you give me a wild guess just guess what do you think they do when they go to a temple they hurl abuses at the god i am not making this up you can go and check it google sabke paas hota hai so they hurl abuses at the god till the extent that it's such a festival that the entire village warns everybody else look it's that time of the year if you don't want to because the the swear words are the choicest available like even punjabis can't beat that and punjabis are known to so <laughs> so they tell everybody around them that yo it's april and may please turn it down or shut your doors and windows if you can't handle this because this space what we're doing over here in april and may this is a sacred space it's between us and our deity we're going to hurl abuses the deity doesn't care in the end of the hey hum usko sorry bol denge aur hamare beech ka mamla hai hum hamare bhagwan ko sorry bolenge so bhagwan bolega sorry accepted aage badho but the point is that barely anyone today in the digital age even knows that such a culture exists in india i don't know how many of you knew about this why i say this is today we live in a unique time and we need our literary culture the most because it teaches us true diversity i often talk about skin deep diversity versus soul deep diversity you know where in the west i got nothing against the west i like the west but the west it seems is obsessed with so skin deep diversity and you know, everybody says the same thing they just look different they keep saying the same thing but you know kisi ne pagdi pehni hogi kisi ne coat pehna hoga kisi ne coat ke sath pagdi pehni hogi मरो बोलते सब एक ही चीज है इफ यू रियली आर डाइवर्स विच इज वेर आई कम फ्रॉम एंड वेर ऑल ऑफ यू कम फ्रॉम इंक्लूडिंग पाकिस्तान वी हैव सोल डीप डाइवर्सिटी वी नॉट ओनली हैव डाइवर्सिटी एट अ सुपरफिशियल लेवल आवर थॉट्स एंड आवर कल्चर टेल्स अस टू एक्सेप्ट डाइवर्सिटी एट एन एपिस्टमिक लेवल एट अ थॉट लेवल वेर माई पॉडकास्ट इट्स लिटरली कॉल्ड चारवाक You know, I live yava jive, sukham jive, granam krutva, granam pibe, dhasmi bhutasya dehasya punar gamanam kuta. I don't do the translations because I don't want to hurt anyone's sentiments. But the point is, this culture still accepted me. The reason I am the way I am is not because of the current Indian constitution. The reason I am the way I am is because of that continuing civilizational heritage that made me the way they are. And today, when we live in an, a discourse where this temple now imagine if somebody took a video aaj har aadmi video le leta hai usko bada acha lagta hai ki mujhe likes milenge social media pe and uh, fir uh, wo video chale jata hai aur fir uh, you know aajkal sabne ek outrage ki dukan khol li hai sabki dukan bik rahi hai outrage jaise sab log apna placard leke khude hue hain sab log outrage bech rahe hain hum khareedte hain hum khareedar hain wo bech rahe hain to aap socho agar ye अगर आप आउट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट सोचो अप्रैल और मई में कोई विजिट कर रहा है वो टेंपल को दैट पर्सन टेक्स अ वीडियो ऑफ द टेंपल नाउ इट्स लिटरली बिटवीन द डेटी एंड द डेवोटी एंड समबडी हु इज एन आउटसाइडर वॉच इज दिस एंड देन द आउटरेज मशीन स्टार्ट हाउ मेनी इयर्स वुड इट टेक फॉर दिस ब्यूटिफुल ट्रेडिशन वेर वी गेट टू अब्यूज आवर ओन गॉड एज एज अ बिलीवर as someone who literally believes in that god how many of you think that will survive so my request to you and these will be my closing words is value your tradition because your tradition gave you a lot more than you actually value we we have forgotten 
the true essence of our tradition and as Freud would say, we are obsessed with the narcissism of small differences. I'll leave you guys at that. I know everybody is hungry and I've had enough of uh, me. So I'll take it, uh, take your leave now and have a great day. And thank you to Ayurbhai.